Hello friends and welcome to virtual story time at the Chippewa River District Library. Will you join me in singing the hello song? Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends, it's time to say hello. Welcome to story time. Today we are talking about camping. I'm camping right now at Higgins Lake State Park. That's just north of us in Michigan. I've got the perfect book to talk about camping. Let's take a look. This is Maisie Goes Camping by Lucy Cousins. And I was able to download a copy of this book on Hoopla from the library and then bring it with me camping. So it was the perfect book to bring, not just because it's about camping, but because I didn't actually have to bring the book. I just had to bring my smart device with me with the book already downloaded onto it. And with that, let's turn the page and get into it. One day, Maisie decided to go camping. There she goes, she's got a pack on her back and a hiking stick, and she's off into the woods. And all of her friends came along. They found the perfect place to make a camp. There's Maisie and she's brought all her friends with her. She has an alligator friend and an elephant friend and a squirrel friend and a chick friend and they're all gonna go camping together. What fun! Pitching a tent is not easy, but everyone worked together. They are working together so well. They're putting the stakes into the ground. They're holding up the tent poles and draping the tent over the tent poles. They're doing such a good job. Oh no, the tent fell down. So they tried again and again until the tent stayed up. Good job, everyone. That night, they sang around the campfire. Then it was time for bed. Cyril went in first with his flashlight, one in the tent. Next came Charlie, watch the pegs, two in the tent. Then it was Tallulah's turn, three in the tent, Make room for Maisie. Four in the tent. Oh no, friends. It looks like the tent is filling up. Is there room for one more? Come on, Eddie. Hmm. Friends, do you think that that elephant will be able to fit? I don't know. Is there room for Eddie? To read the end of this book and find out if poor Eddie can fit in the tent and what happens in the ending, you can check Maisie Goes Camping out from our library. There'll be a link in the description of this video to check it out from the Chippewa River District Library. Let's sing a song together. This camping song is just like the Hokey Pokey, except we are going to use camping and the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put our marshmallows into the campfire. Put your marshmallows in and out. Are you ready? Here we go. You put your marshmallows in, you put your marshmallows out, you put your marshmallows in, and you shake it all about. You do the camping pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Awesome, next we're gonna go to the beach on our camping trip and we're gonna do the camping pokey at the beach by putting our feet in and out of the water at the beach. Here we go. You put your feet in, you put your feet out, you put your feet in and you shake it all about. You do the beach pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Next we're gonna put our head 
in and out of the tent. You put your head in, you put your head out, you put your head in and you shake it all about. You do the camping pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Great job, friends. Thank you for singing that song with me. Friends, for the next part of our story time, we're going to learn a finger play. This one is called Here is the Camper, and we just need our fingers to tell this story. You can come along with me. First, we're gonna hold out our finger for here is the camper, here is the tent, he goes inside, fireflies flicker all night long, all is calm till the light of day. Let's try that again and you can follow along the motions with me. Here is the camper, here is the tent, he goes inside, the fireflies flicker outside, all is calm till the light of day. Good job, friends. Thanks for telling that story with me. Friends, let's talk about some of the stuff you might bring camping with you. What would you bring on a camping trip? Let me tell you some of the stuff I brought with me on my camping trip. First, I brought a flashlight so I could see in the dark. Next, I brought marshmallows. I'm keeping them in this jar for roasting over the campfire. I also brought a tent with me camping. You can see my tent behind me. This is so I can sleep overnight here in the woods. And of course I brought bug spray to keep me safe from bugs. Don't want them crawling all over me while I'm out here in the wilderness. And finally, it's important to bring friends with you. I brought my friend Bean. Here she is. She's my camping buddy and she likes to come camping with me. And we tent out together and roast our marshmallows and sleep in our tent. One of my favorite things to do when I'm camping is to watch the stars. When you're out camping, you're often in a place that's away from the main lights of the city and you can see the stars really, really well. So let's sing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star as we imagine we're watching a beautiful night sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Well, friends, we've reached the end of our story time for today. Will you join me in singing the goodbye song? Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. See you next time. You are in the way. This is not about dogs, it's about camping. <laughs>